Fundamentum omnis structurae inferioris supra est, a fix met eius culmen, hic infra et ticut arbor inversa, blasius vinerus de igne e sale. The heavenly tree grows downward. Who bury the dead must from the grave establish a habit. Who bury the dead lead forth the bride stainless in dress. The morning glory creeps, stone, lizard. Who bury the dead in fetal position, knees pulled up to the chin. Who bury the dead? to rise again. In winter, her body still nourishes me. Out of the north, feeding on berries, seeds of weeds, rising about the long snow, for snow fields, frozen apples and pastures, a seed drop in the barnyard where cattle are fodder, maple buds, berries of mountain ash, Black groups of wood piling, berries of cedar, out of the north, feeding on catkins, feeding on berries, the pine gross big scum, snow bunting scum, the pine siskin scum. I come to her portals, the music resounds. Stephen Phillips and the warmth of summer nights for my mother, Madonna. This music rode to harbor in a blue deep hour and under a bridge of tears. One. The darkness that we feel is green, my mother used to say to me. First time maybe the gas mills and unused polyfields behind the stables. <coughs> And then she asked if I like poetry. I blew my nose. I didn't know the word. So to Stephen Phillips, poet of Secret Dawn, I owe confusion of my mother with Marpessa, as well as early appellation of the Orphic Gates. In the beginning, in eo tempore, the word. Two. The priest of Bloom climbed higher in the oranges of shaken nights, and Stephen Phillips, now hardly named, bowed backwards down the boulevards of Gates Mills memories with lost shouting, with lost shouting ecstasies in a ring of stones beyond the Beaumont's house. And the day we found the horse's skull far off in snowy woods. Rough portage round the chagrin wall falls. I went on planting pine trees. Summer nights the mists were Chinese thick in on savage road. Three. Stephen Phillips wrote, How strange the summer night, and truly summer nights are stranger than our mothers, stranger even than the ruddy fantasies we show ourselves sometimes before the fall of sleep. It's a broody hand, warmth and erethesia of a summer night, sweet camouflage of death and bushy mother of the world, thrust and consummation of the tiger's spring and orange presages of fall. Four. Now from greenly silent and cool growing night, Stephen Phillips' longing mode returns to lap the ear in canticle of wandering garden bliss. Life is a flower, my war. We crush between my early light. So sweetness comes and comes, 
my music dying. This song for Ida's of the greenest isle to me indeed. Uh, to, uh, to, uh, isle. to me indeed hath a sea rumor through the night been born. Fine. Our Lady of me felicity above the world, refrain your wintry blessing from the heights. Your idiom is ended and your abstract love. Our Lady of the unforgiven of this world forgives us out of darkness and the warmth of summer nights and let our benedictions echo in the body's cave. Six. <clears throat> Marpeza chose a man before the God, chose others of the open field and merely human intercourse. That summer gate, mills afternoon, when I heard the unfamiliar name, I blindly chose, was chosen for, the labyrinthine feeling, way missing forever, the plausible single track that leads to sanctity or successful office building home. My veins were green when Marpesa turned me on the world, the sting, the wonder, not to be foregone, a training in and of warmth of summer nights, foxfire under occult constellation, lioness. The labor is to wrestle with the lioness, descend to man with lion power firmly in the left hand held, that neither goes nor offerings pertain. Mother of Alice, Charles, and Garrick, the tetrachord your Stephen Phillips sang is now antique, a strange, and under sea. But nourishing to man still is the darkness that we feel is green. The great form is without shape. All life long you are unhanding, unhanding, and unhanding what was handed to you, handed you. All life long you throw out the line of life. You throw out the line stinging up from your guts. Were they planting trees, your father and your mother? Did they ever plant? Is that a line of trees far away, green line? All life long you include something that includes your life. You are in the egg. In the center of a picture, two angels hold a transparent crystal egg of teardrop shape. In the egg, the ocean god is throned, left leg crossed over right, trident in right hand. <coughs> Under his outstretched arms, two children or little people stand, a boy at his right, a girl at his left. The boy's head is crowned with a sun, the girl's with a crescent moon. That's the middle level of the picture. At the top, a blazing sun with human features dominates the vertical axis. At the bottom, a man and a woman kneel on either side of a furnace, man to the right of the furnace, woman to the left. In the furnace itself, directly below the egg containing the god, is suspended a similar egg, empty. All life long, the dew falls from heaven. All life long, trees climb up from underground waters. In the seed of the old god, the new gods are swarming. Earth is ready for planting. The shut eye is opening. The heat. A red gazelle for, B, for CBL on his passage to India, 1963. The color red invigorates a traveler, so to you I bring the red gazelle, this poem, to wish you energy and health in India, where eagle energy is taking you. And energy and health in England, Scotland, Germany, and France, and on the currents of sustaining air along the continents. It is a red gazelle that stands before you. There are blue gazelles with mournful eyes, your running memory of boyhood lost Blue Mountain Colorado streams. 
but it is a red gazelle that dances for you in these lines. Poems come in many packages like finance, music, engineering, prayers. And though our mounts are not the same, it is a poem in which you ride to India, as is this red gazelle from Persia, Garrett, brings to you. The green bottle. The twelve powers change and our bodies changes. My father, do you understand your son? Now they weaken and withdraw. Now they drink of power and awaken. My father, do you understand your son? He carries a boat in his head. He has built it with his hands. I will not build apologies. My strong ancestors are walking in the autumn air. I breathe for them. You have reason to be proud. But do I believe it? From the green bottle, it is not wisdom I have drunk, not joy, not strength. It is remorse. My father, do you understand your son? To be forgiven in the air of autumn by the born again. The, excuse me, the bereft. To be forgiven in the air of autumn by the born again. Old voice meandering along the willows and in such a tact music as she wore. Some night blue lady whose booze and coat rack bosom and became Elizabethan legendary dark. Deep song to wrench a memory of love we treasure in the measure of pavans and city dumps. I remember rose hips, the body writhing as it spent itself, and now the change of sky, fading colors of hairy roses by the sea, salt spray against the skin. It is sufficient suffering to vanish never. Trace new silhouettes of love against that sudden esplanade of fall. Count the newly gone who move among the living and cry long animate version in our soul, sobs and enjoy breath. I think of Selma, Steve, and Charles. Names haunt midnight veins in Times Square daylight rear. John and Ruth, mercy, steadfastness. The wind is in our heads, no matter whether what we drink or pop into blood. It shrieks across the blinded avenues and swaths our bodies in a filthy net of memory. To be unforgiving is to live. When we bereft of love, realize to forgive ourselves and whom we love. We spend Rejoice in good forgiveness of those we have never loved enough. We weave ourselves at least in glory, and we die. The End of Nature in This World The third mother kindles in the darkness of concordance, and fierce in qualifying comes the wrath. Sic rerum summa novatur semper. Boiling from the spring, black, spew of Mimmer's head, murderous estrin singe, bruising eyes in fire cracks and fracture of humanity, flick, block, relief from wheels, beg, oh beg, good dancing at the gates, to make the gates fall down, now the thirteenth angle of the crystal capable, so nails once fast 
now fall away, all sticking bolts or bars, and never will be shut again. Let winds flow in and out, Boreas, Favonius, fountain spirits murmuring, Eros, Apeliota, Notus, <coughs> kissing, relishing, begin, rollick. Be gaily, quizzical, neutralities, the world is yours to eat it up, never belong to anyone at all. To her solemn music. The ruin of dedication is a ruin in my heart. Broken obelisk of carrying past the past obliquities of love. Once gone down the hell hole, there's no turning back. Golden reversion. What time, meaning age, has once disposed she ever disposes ever, my loves, all my selfishness, monuments of agony, pass to where the God has willed and willed again, my pain and out-of-body bliss. Great woman, give me courage. A poem of love in eleven months. Dreamer of purified fury and fabulous habits, your eyes of deserted white afternoons target, stiffen, riot with unicorn candor. So I swallow your body like meanings or whiskey, or as you swallow me. Break rhythm here, your kiss is my justice. Look then now uh, how orange blossoms of jubilation unfold in satisfied air. This sex is more than sex, under the will of the god of sex. So I softly invoke transformation of your rueful, rueful image of haven, those frozen rocks that guilty lighthouse isolate from temptation to warm Flemish landscape green and bright-eyed with daisies of dizzying color where pilgrims are dan dancing after gospeling birds who sing of new springs, good water. And Squam Nights. I tell you, it was real. Bayberry bushes on the hill, the house, yellow moon and simple love. But oh, fox laughter from the woods, the white fox running through the pines. A February mind hung untimely up in summer's weave. Voyager far away, dreaming of snow in Florid Bay. What though your brummel mind outrun, fat brimming sun, anatomize cold time and slow. To now, unkind, still summer words you find wriggling below the speech you know. The tropic god decrees a brogue of summer destinies. So what that winter antedate unwelcomed fate from being now you can't forbear. So speak in haste. The hot love words at last. Good bunny and shadow, you from fear. And rhymes and sheen after Thomas Stanley, 1647. A gazelle of absence. If I had trained a gull, I'd send it off to Booth Bay Harbor, like Solomon to Sheba, like Hafiz to his friend, bearing greetings and complaints of absence from the cypress envying your figure and the moon bowled over by your face, the bird would say, you there, captain. Though you are absconditis, my heart is touching you. Sunrise to sunset, the winds weave endlessly between us and let off my affection, the boiling deep sea currents testify. Lest the warriors of Greece ravage your beauty, la beauté. 
I send you the ransom of my love, keep it. Musicians will play out Garrett's desire in the mode of this poem, which is like a gazelle. Need fire. Impure of necessity, I cannot shut it out. The poem of fire that burns in the night, men know not how to use. A way of love, lines of flame, too familiar to be a god. It is the keyboard of desire. For an unlikely low, I praise the canyons no bridge spans, but eagles fly across. A soul of fire of wood. Love, too much likeness saps. Lovers' difference sustains their love. The stalwart sailor and the poet. I used to dream that sailors dreamed of other sailors. But now I guess it is of poets and hearts they also hearths that they also dream. Two cats before the fireplace. Two cats before the fireplace. In slanting light of raven's wood, we decided for a rosy hearth to keep the fire virgin in, where the poet and the sailor, happy criminals in love, united in a rhythm simple as the poem, two cats before the fire Thinking of the eyebrows of my lord, into radiance, soup lumina, it comes upon me beside a lake, not yesterday's elation, but shattering that is black. Express the great, the angel said. Exhaust yourself, and so the stain uniquely gives consent. You may be loved, that of all uneasy things you come to drink of it. Islam, submission to his kiss. makes the mind grow duller. To you, the way is through myself. I labor in the knowledge of difficult estrangement when what I am with, with is most away. This is like Elizabethan wisdom. I never could have guessed was really so. All the felonies of antique poesy and all. So I am myself a little absent-minded. That's minded of ab absence and say walk. <laughs> Wild cherries. I remember how calm as Bodhisattva's head and as music blissfully you slapped my love in my faithless, faithful arms. The conditioned one. Absence of accustomed love is death. Oh, I remember unaccustomed days. Love poem. The purport not to be silenced is color of love. Languishing bodies striving to be, exploding sweet esters turning all unfulfilled meaning to glory, an ark. Here we parade, all animals, us, as our hands create each other's appearance. Flashes of lilac, of gold, of apple, of sunset, eyeballs, accoutrements, we're off, speaks bliss. This remember of me, just that I loved you, just camera, jury, my love. Planting the amplitude of sea stoned altitude, the constellated swing salts my glory, eyes makes free. I am here as I am here. Finding form when calls this opening or sunburst 
not the tolling of the sea or other cantilene. Time is not the sea, not like the sea. Disposal of you trash of memory have gone, made in Europe analogies that fake the line like heirlooms, family ideas. I hold the stick of bareness to be a hard man wilding exquisite. And that it is, of course, not simple place, this seating of course, like water course removing water meeting in Gloucester, Heraclitus yet. But I know for every man there are places, amplitudes, signatures of heart that he can plant and must plant. Honey from the rock, my love must hold to fluency as to statute fable, rock of what imprints us in the shakes of being where we are. Hold to the shifts of light, hold to the spring, and heap of water brings it in, junk of night and flowers takes it out. Sweet flag of dawn, our integrities are all the inroads we can make, their poles. Life sucks itself to life in Granny Day's swamp as I wait for you and you for me and bullfrog music environs common spring. Rain fills the pools. I cannot declare my love, but it holds to fluency as I imagine holding to you. New commentary on an old tune. My love must hold to fluency, and you must hold to the poet loving you with fluency. Your love must hold to fluency as the great tides of day and night give ordinance, measure, to the lines I throw you from my heart. Heart lines intersect between the stars. The stars are in the rock, and cattle drink them from the swamp miscold of Granny Day. No appellation equals that which cannot be fixed. An appellation falls from the tree. It is good to eat. It is a rock of dawn and jubilee to love, maybe quite jubilee or noisy jubilee, but always jubilee, this oyster, this apple. Fluent the round from sediments through magmatic action to the granites through meteoric action to again sediments, the round of water, fire, earth, and air. Such a fluent rondo is love. Do not fear my love of others, so I care for you. Every man and every woman is a star, and stars are in the rock. There are no war between the stars. They are perfected or perfect themselves. To be loved in their integrities, each one for himself. Love my love, my apple. So let your love flow and fall from heaven to melt the snow beneath. And in our throat the bursting song and we will come together again and bullfrog music shall environ common screens. Dusky, filled with by plasmator, rain, gray syllables, goose, cove, 
reservoir. The boulder behind the house. A thin rain from the east, a mist over Mill River, delicate thunder. Here be no gold toe of luck, no tiger of jade, but in the backyard a red brown rock, grim and solidus immense, shoves out of the earth. Once a great heiress behind a screen hidden, loved with her eyes a handsome poor youth. A river goddess rose once from the water to give a great prince her pillow of love. Mere instances. Will your heart gape wide with spring flowers? The candles of love fall into ashes. The rock is a roar. I see bright sun illuminating absence. Snow on juniper to the feeding station flies. <clears throat> For bread, no red bird. Postcard on Henry David. Dear Charles, what no one says about Perrault is about how he made it as a poet. Not in his poetry, in his prose and life, he soared. His approach to nature as he made it, capital, was organomic, functional. He was Psyche's early animist, prophet of Gestalt mythology and Buddhist of attention. What he missed, we think we know. What he missed, we think we know, but his gain made him Thoreau. Love, Garrett. Thoreau was not Thoreau. Charles's comment on the card. The curve. How one incurs the burden of a city and Indians. This is where I came in. By the pest house. Through the old woods. Not over that flubbery span no sentinel owns. Comes into one's own reality. Making the place by pacing the place. Live or live. Change vowel, I, heart, the stature commensurate to the gist of the nation, imagination. Again, the curve, the way it slants in, the lay of the land, unseen but by Indians. Then, thanks ever be to Charles Olson for Indians. Then, the alien eyes, mine eyes have seen thee, mine eyes alien. Dutch, not Indian. Outer, planetary, more keener for the curve. How wolves and lions came in. Some affirm they have seen a lion, a Cape Ann, which is not above six leagues from Boston. So I round another man's <coughs> measure to round out my own, to speak of discoverer, the pristine we work to inherit, native load to shoot out again is not to make up Harry Martin some queer hemisphere. It is to smell, to dig with the hand, to demonstrate, and at least to reclaim, to come in like Indians on this curve from the ravening wood to a city we once could be citizens of. Song, the Autumn Festival. Golden summers go away, red garden blood is cool to gray. Golden mummers go away, good looking favorites goodbye. The moon is sick, the fountain's dry, good looking favorites goodbye. All things go underground with glee, the sun is pale and under sea, on earth, in air, in green or flaming tree, love massacres his family, all things go underground with glee. Festival song, the new year. Look, the man of rain is burning, everywhere our dancers turning. 
Children memorize their friends as they go, as they go, turning intricate and slow. Look, the man of rain is burning. The black and winter moon is falling. Children white and glittering, wet their knives, wet their knives, all oh, their rampant private lives. Look, the man of rain is burning. The flame is blue as early morning. Each child takes his lovely peer with tender fright, in tender fright. They make sharp love and live in shocks of light. Idudana. Food is not the enemy. Certainly, food is not the enemy. For the third time, and now most, and I make it most true, and to be held in the refrigerated water of flour of mine, food is not the enemy. Only if life is held to be the enemy can food be so conceived, and that life is the enemy, is a burning distraction conceived by life itself as part of its gag, but no one has to be muzzled. And this is not to say that other boring half-kernel long known that we are the enemy, because there is an enemy, and it is no good pretending it's some hy hypothetical you or us, or a weed. What is a weed? A dirty word to be abolished as we re-inhabit Adam's old garden? and softly or lovingly, roughly caress the genitals of God and goddess, walk in the beauty of morning and evening, rubefaction rub rub forever. A weed is nowhere, for we are all weeds, all woad, all meant to be eaten, as I carelessly weeding one noon, pulled up by mistake coriander, blessed it for food the next day, brown rice with cilantro. So many friends to play with we have, Weeds are what we smoke, we eat, we work with, what we are, how we joyously do and are done. <coughs> the red mouth, green parrot. So pretty, green stalks of spinach, pink root attached, lying on the kitchen table, Sweet taste of late autumn in the mouth, swirl of bright red and orange leaves outside. So sweep away big dusty summer, spinach sympathizes with the foreman. Abadi Amari, in memoriam John Hayes Hammond Jr., April 13, 1888. February 12, 1965. Like Tintagel, this Gothic camp, Castle, is piled on the rocks above a northern sea. But here, in this Massachusetts fishing town where the loom of Europe fades, on this invented house, harangued and favored by the sea. The emptiness of great night falls and we mount the corkscrew stair, ignoring flagrant chasubles to greet the shabby moon that, that tramples the waters to golden unrest. Urban health seem fictive here, where mind reflects the motions of the sea and of the Gothic past. Time flickers in the salty, star-sprickled air and the glass-stirred boys dip. Yet even here is noise of death and blood. Gull's jagged screams impale the night. There, that blacker shape is Norman's war, a reef made infamous by poetry. Gulls nest there, rest from killing. Rats, rats swim out of, at night, Jack says, to feast, red eyes advancing through the waves, a meal of, a meal of feathers and of blood. Downstairs again, we talk of automatic death, 
the hydrogen bond and the acquiring age. But we turn from the follies of human speech. Tie the Siamese cat is asleep. The ear is hallowed and taken by music, mingling with the ocean's recurrent faith. Here, immured in fidgets of a faithful age, faith, each one thinks apart. Faith, make faith. Oh, weak, 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 weak. Good simplicity of water, rock, and brilliant moon, you are enough. Skeleton Echo. The clock that numbers me has told and told my history. But my story of invention is not done. I am walking still in the golden sunlight of the midsummer mystery. Auguries in autumn. Cool leaf rides light down. One window nearby falling. Apples back in snow. Some cane, Bethel. Mountain of the Lord's house slowly reaches up to and never to be lightning wrecked the stars. Explorers. Coursing black savannas, cruising broken cities, the explorer drew perceptive fever charts, slept with foxes, traded furs with, with wild children. He learned to listen for the crackling of dry thorns, beware the sucking mouths of slime that took so many, and not to swim in haunts of moccasin and copperhead. He was alone in his abandon and occasional rejoicing, gave little mercy to his body as it bled away, until by northern quarries on a littoral of sea ghosts, he found what he had never known, the companion born to share, fellow fellows in the ardors of the quest, goer with and polar traveler, they have so many climates to explore, many seas to sail, descents and climbs, vigils and expenditures, reports to make of singing wires and balances of well-hung crucibles, that it is a thing to praise for them. Companionship, companionship, the pleasure of their company and lighting up of loneliness as each alone is targeting alone in the American forest. The blessed vacant mind in aim, no water course of tumbling thoughts, formerly rare in American forests, 16th to 19th century, now comes to recognize itself, its value, burden of Nagarjuna, Loose cap was busy, no time to be empty, working, fighting, shaping, that the animals be smaller that, that, that than in his original era he made them, adapting all to human universe. The condition is superordinate, 20th century, a new dogma nears. Who hails the superhuman I attend? It is not love one speaks of here, rather gods known to us by similar name. So see them bend their bows, aye, aye, they are sighting their human targets. We try to forfend such malefaction, to identify mistaking secondary personalization as if it were actual and private. No privacy left, no should be. Un plein jour, all feeling, reclamation as of American forest. 
Indian is no accidental word, the Indies are connected west and east in mind, subsuming in concurrence as of Greece, Sicily, Europe, and America, and Merindia, the bitter flow, the forest first philosophers emerging now again as forests disappear, intone the path of life and death and life. The gates, a jar, a jewel, in morning, mirror, red. Graffiti, ancient and modern. Boys in classic haunts of failure take formal solace, pensive eye, in fragments of faith forgotten, the magic of a ruined cult on ruined walls commended, good, talismans of mythic port and habit signal them, apt to testify their archetypes of brilliant earth and the primitives. Hermetic, terrible from joy, a rude imagination blazed this iconography, not to animate the game of nerves, nor galvanize a rotting fiber, but a supernatural to lead the florid intellect through lovely glades of calm, conceiving until it know its final earth. Then Agatha Damien <clears throat> fall like music from the tainted air, involve the will in fairest music, and fair invite the spirit home, where mirrored in these harmonies, the rapture of itself it views, and how it needs to seem to be. <clears throat> Song, La Mort est Échoué. Love sits on a coral reef himself, of coral formed and delicate, white and red like a summer cloud at sunset heated, faintly blue and exquisite in all that pomp, slowly sinking with a shipwreck of the sun. This song I heard uncertainly, these images, lonelier than I can dream of silences, addressed the future as the past with noise of flutes and corabants, figured out, in other words, the sullen basis of our certainty. Boxcar moonlight scene. Furtively, then freely, they made it in an empty boxcar, moonlight streaming in the open door. Two o'clock in the morning, relaxing, each eager for the other's pleasure, faster and faster, mouth to body fastened, enjoyment like forever, and then, at the same time, shot off into eternity's gullet. Stars strung out like mistletoe over a heavy sky. Peace, the necessary return to normal economy, being what each one of us was and is, kisses of satisfied friendship. Garrett Lamsing, the same day, March 22nd, 1970 into the equinox. And the light of the tinctures. Dawn rocks with light as his rocks go off into the mouth of the sea. A virgin hurls them from cinnabar but cliffs. Something got into my left eye, I cannot get it out. It is your body and it makes me rub my left eye. <coughs> when my right eye twins it, the two of you will sail up into my brain, my eyes will be soothed, and my head will not be sore. The two of you will rock in the hammock on my old-fashioned porch, holding hands, loving yourself. How mysterious. What I, was, what I just wrote, as if it were future, seems to be what has happened already, and I realize that time I had said it before, but forgotten is not where we really are. A bird is flying into a golden age, singing of far Mount Abora. The cage door is always open. The virgin is master of the golden age, cage, master, mistress, comforter of birds, and gives her birds liberty, and they come again. It is night, and the poem is ready to end and reform into dawn. 
A man lies on some bed of furious darkness between his legs, a kneeling boy. Soon the color of the boy's flesh will change from red in turns to, in turns to blue to black, then red and white. He becomes a virgin with a golden cup. She gives her birds to drink from this cup. She walks on the cinnabar but cliffs. In the man's clenched hand, dawn bursts. Working in the lower red field, but handle the stone, free in the outburst, kindle a peace. Perfections are specialized, it is declared. Do you want to shine softly in the beam of forms? But handle the stone. Wars only mirrors of the flame. Simplicity destroys reflection. White robed kindred turn the air. As small as, together in the bed, turning justice into their bodies, making peace flow as sweetness affords it. Bird song in the morning, red sky at evening, delights of the sailors, but handle the stone. Here we <clears throat> By far the best farmer's lovers are, whose bodies glisten in the light they make and throw so carelessly about them in molten afternoons. Husbandry is what it takes to wake the world splash in our heads, exploding water light, so nothing's unhinged the far-fetched pleasure. By fostering, the greenness comes again, new arising flower world, sweetness stuff of naked rarity. Afternoons are molten because melting is consequence of whatever passionate perception, without fusing them, the flower of mind makes all things capable of extremity, not adjectival. Concentrating as that toy, lovers like us melt, reform in solar innovation, our substances now justified anew, made accurate by bliss, a, temper, a balance, a tempering, a style. Perianth is the word I wrote meaning the sepals and the petals, to remind me of the floral unity of love and also how we double on ourselves the world when our bodies shoot and heavens open, how we suffice each other in ourselves. To the boy charioteer, you care for the steeds, not victory, unusual in one so young. You are like me, a real gone time despiser, forgive the youth word, young. The rhythm of this arid purple age diminishes the merely actual, lineaments of incidents, or cast of human dice in, onto a bed. But my intensity for you, Euphorion, however privately expressed, will not diminish. So faithful is not only memory, but working of the body energy divine. Golden was an early word for all of it. Emerging into sunlight, I dance with capability. My feeling is a waterfall that spends without exhaustion of the source. In Eden, where our dreams of happiness are carefully covered, conserved, stored as juicy essences the virgin of the world put up, we eat each other endlessly, apples sadly rarely shared in what is unjust history. But we are not asleep in Beulah land. We live in heat and pain of being here or there. And if we are slightly nuts, it is the division wrenches us. The horses, the horses, black and white, see them flying over the chasms of no love. Their manes are flaming into the night. They guide you, chariot of golden stars, my cardiogram. Hold well the reins and pray that so I do not on earth as well. On the Bright Use of Simples for Tom Meyer. The 
meadow was the dream you did not have, you said, but I was waiting in the stream that flows there, gathering crests and colonists, hot in the black waters under my feet. The moon, if your mouth is dry, the berries of the meadow will sweeten it safely enough if you only remember that creatures unfit for human consumption are not of the normal order of nature. Even to think of them is dangerous. Of the godly uncanny it is wise to beware. An inlet of reality or soul in this age or any with respect to plants or as animals, we are wrong in speaking as if the object of life were <clears throat> only the bequeathing of itself. The flower is the end and proper object of the seeds, not the seed of the flower. John Ruskin, the Queen of the Air. When in Rome do as the Greeks, show it hard, let intellect be rampant in the fragrant colors of the indomitably soul. No compromise, no blame. Take happiness in touch that bursts in light. Conks um pax, as the sun yacht shoots through the gate of the town. Thomas, happy in his element. Sweetness savors itself in bowling grandeurs. Delectation of the gods come true. Truly come in the core of time, all the nick of it, new aeon, lying form in the wood where virgins lay. When then love takes you in hand, you don't languish in the clover, clover, but make song. O oh, flowering stick, smoke wreath of peacefulness, discover your happy self in others' graves, good limpid star, golden bird, girl leaning from a window when the last light shakes out in the west. This and this we say and do, and so we fix each other up, and this is how transcendence is. Blue decrepit town, it takes me, here I am living in a place I first drove through 20 years ago, teaching John to drive, me, who was no natural American boy driver, though learned it driving tractor. Driving through, then, nervous about these real narrow streets of this decrepit town, nervous about all the cute, rough boys standing in front of the three pool halls, nervous about the kind of life to lead when no more college, Nervous about even what to do in bed and with whom, as the limerick goes. And now, it appears that driving through this place, looking mostly straight ahead, but glancing at faces and bodies and decrepit, dirty buildings, was more than it was then. Just driving through a different place, teaching John to drive. Nervous, thinking of sex, thinking of the ocean, which everywhere shone through that autumn day. Because I had never seen the ocean to make it with before, being just a heartland America boy. Now it appears that what gives us a shove, even to love, the pattern we're hung up on or where we fell off, arises like the character of a golden lion, purely through causes. Flickering lights of a decrepit town is as empty as causes, and may be grabbed by the throat of mind much later, if at all, if you're lucky, if you've lived well, when you're no longer nervous, or differently nervous, not only in seeing the whole jewel net flicker in the depths of the sea, but even a song flickers in the sight of blue decrepit reality town, wherein dwells love. Judgment of the City I take my length in tarnished lights, dirty plate glass, cold friend image. Never walked among the noble dead. Who really has? 
only no upper b way furnished rooms, naked balls, cigarette and cigarette, fingers calculating flesh, the noble living. And still my eyes transpose like tiger's eyes, this world's bloody meat to everlasting bloody meat. Amazing Grace in a Salad Bowl, in memory of Stephen Jonas. And of the dead, the deer gone new into the ancient halls, the malady lingers on, a favorite quote of his, his maladies do. He's no repair on earth for broken nerves, worn out heads, the injuries the sensitive self-inflict. The god of this world treads on brains like grapes. In the wine press, what can we do but sing if we are men at all? You are gone, Esteban, and your big brown body just isn't there to hands you choose. Hotel medicine, men's room boys, weird high objects of your unearthly love. Dumb credit card thieves, boosters, drunks, the last chunk of the world. They shift without you on the Esplanade, and I shift without you, like your other friends, who have their own memories of your kindness, cooking, talk, your body that changed and changed. I have a salad bowl, unpolished wood, I cherish as a few best memory, the courtesy and purity of greens, lemon juice and olive oil. You move a fabric beyond your words, Ideas I sometimes felt were crazy. A coat of hospitality embracing wine and merriment. A Boston dawn, the place of time you loved. Boston, you were to me after I left New York, hub of haven. With pile and exhausted from nights of pleasure to hear your morning chatter, drink coffee, sometimes beer or wine. You knew the Boston crevices, their histories, the rats, and marketplace. How to get electric free, free. clothes, high five hearts, good affabilities. Du musst dein Leben ändern, Rilke wrote, and how poesy transform with disputed oft, not denying that it does, it sure does. Now, sunset fading, I wonder what the panoply of spring was worth to all of us. The price of all that agony, the sky on fire. Boys moving through the blood, the witless loves, the loved ejaculations, and again and again the upturned ball faces. For you a reason found in madness, a cap on mere existence. You denied the ecstasy I claimed, said tricks were only tricks which I in turn denied, but you and I together knew, bright words hanging on the bows of dawn, amazing grace. October song. Who is rich in love will lay an autumn table, who is rich in love will lay an autumn table for his guests and shape in autumn ornaments the shapes and omens of his love. So from these purple threads his love will take for sure that when they lay away all summer ornaments and evenings is the normal guest, he will not be surprised. <coughs> what guest would snub this friendly honest love that laughs at foolish ornaments and tumbles them in straw to lay a guest in ornaments of love. Egg breakfast. Mornings I eat my eggs, ignorant of my eggs. Their shifting auras and devices, hints and prohibitions. They are only chicken eggs, of course, that whisper egg commands, holding in their foreign mouths my forming day. I like eggs soft-boiled, two minutes maybe, I don't count, to scoop with spoon, hop from shell, like little white and yellow thrill. Guys who aren't with me, guys who aren't with eggs, I'm not with them. 
Red flowers in the kitchen. No separation, a poem is not about. But I wish to praise the red chrysanthemums, standing in the cut glass decanter whose top I lost, that Donald Fuller gave me when we moved from 62nd to 27th Street in New York City. They're red, really red and ruddier, now at evening in the artificial light against the yellow and white checkered tablecloth than in the morning when I bought them. But description is no praise. How can I invent their redness in a poem to carry calorific color in your eyes or beyond description too? The dark grammarian. His garret overhangs the green subtle slum where nothing culminates and languorous the deathly adolescents play the dooms or flex their rubber summer nights to small experiments. Bent spoons, no gash hounds, bright cock flame. His book of moons surrounds that life, scholar. Disdaining human love, he operates the images of universal love until the blue-black circles fill with mist and forms arise of jeopardy, crying with wakeful eyes below the floor of speech. His right hand takes the left hand out. The sign is born in flowers in the sudden death. Mournful angels spire down his black syntax to health, mad and warm as children they splash and couple in the joyous summer sea. The malefic surgeon, if death is what he seeks in life, he fails, pale among marine accomplices of dark against the arctic bank banks of sleep. He wields uncanny knives, small symbols of that wish to be transformed. He must deride or bear the burning mother's cherishing the child he is. Adoring, crazy shapes of love acquits no nights to charity and never makes a face he has not cut from desperation long before. Knowledge, then, is shriveling, and he prefers cool, averted gods who skill to fathom dream, to father dreams, Dri drifting in his watery nursery of brazen pomps, old nightmares stink romantic. Leaving make it rough. Autumns and sunless afternoons, shudder of birds in an empty sky. Make, 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 make. Whistling on the beaches, the shattering wind makes and makes. Who cleaves by storm is cleaving now. The ranging stones are, cut, are cleft with light a light deranges fuming words to flash and beat. Who's breaking in the holy waters? Who's blocking out the last hard ignorant will of thing? The black wheel walks in the human heart. Rockets scream from seven gates. Bodies radiate, new bodies dissolve, eject themselves. A raving mystery of birth, green award, and swash of buckling waters, uncleaving, unleaving men like trees, and making cities. And mornings roll in from long surprises, leave the bitches strewn with makings, objects burnt by cleaving, but here and now, by division made and black and subtle, strong and dirty in a human beauty, their happy finders rock together, naked in the sun. Over the western mountains, golden petals fall in the void. The pines are pines. Hermits listen to waterfalls. The emperor drowses in the nature of the sun. A quiet butcher surely cleaves the royal book. Call it nothing but a memory. 
Dark hypnos so loves the freshness of your glance. Endymion divinely disarranged upon my couch. The god gives you to dream with both your eyes open all night long. Gold Coast Tonka. Red Florida sun. Loud, indelicate farmer. Why this frantic pitch? Elsewhere you behave with man, ripening soft chromatics. A drink. So old people grow old. Who knows everyone in the world? We try, I try, you, she, and it tries. No progress from the Latin tongue. This is the drink of sensibility, of sense. Today, a theory of the light, of happy color, escape from fuzz, a litany. Ballet. The day dawns in its storm, a gladness of the sun, and I dance with it. Portrait of a poet taster and gentleman of ample means. <laughs> he lives in his tower of bread, eats everything breaded, his chops, his fish, his broccoli, even his bread. What he writes is well-bred, white and refined, fortified well with ironic love. At his bread soirees, he sits on a sofa of bread, pours bread tea, leaves unfinished sentences, crumbs. He brushes his teeth with bread, sleeps on a bed of bread, even turns bed boys to bread boys. Somewhere in the mountains, real thunder rattles. Young men are hungry, slowly deploring the system, alimentary. He eats. He digests. A comfort in longing flames. Of rock, time, and landforms. Perfervid utterance of love, the black man pours it out, my love for you. Cock stars don't dawn trill, incontinent as bull clang power shout. Comfrey, a handsome plant, containing allantoin cell prolif proliferant, very difficult to rid the garden of, knits the bones and soothes the hurt of not to be with you, until I can see you attired in your body glory robe, glowing sun lamb, prop of heart and willing mind. Amphion and his song. Amphion. Darkness climbs the afternoon diamond, long and lazy in which he lay, hearing the golden earth body hum beneath him. Grassy dream of summer of green grass, open to darkness, open to light. A muse in the shifting, a shape in the hands of the winds that cross on the headlands of antique ridings. His will elects building a song, a city to elevate, go down in his acceptance of season. His song. Here are the towers, here are the flowers, flowers of the city of earth. These are the avenues for strangers and exchangers. This is good news of the city of earth. Here are the tenements, yet green in their ceremonies. These are the gay movements, Benedict music of the city of earth. City of earth. August desolation ply. Hot dawn, the socks and gone. Mind forlorn, nothing born. And we use a lonely place to lie in. Habits. Who hasn't? Or down and out. Tarmajans haunt the lofty heights of mountainous countries in Europe, Asia, and America. 
descending within the range of vegetation to feed on berries, buds of trees, and insects, and etc. This I found in Webster's Dictionary, edited 1881. <coughs> Castle of Flowering Birds. Fancy in the mind the graceful flaunters of the summer air. Arise like flowers from their sea, bodies bronze and fledged in blue. Uniforms that music wears when most she is herself, not sound only, but fugitive and sly. The fox occult among the grapes, anonymous in summer's horn. Brilliant beyond a self, the birds are dumb with feeling. An afternoon of wings, the company of love safe in the garden that is themselves more ghost than garden, more brute than bird. Acclaim the throbbing animal, the beastly petals green with blood. A compass. I was speaking, he said, of American poetry. Or was it the other way around? The way under the hill. The snowy eye is absolute. The measure of sustaining is never provisional. Majestic, it opens on silence. So the forefathers looked, and this is the dream of the effulgent republic without question of affluence. Their advice to young men? Will, dare, do, and shut up, period, about it has been prized even by those to whom the name of John Marshall is mud or an elegant rumor for how it pertains to art, to the art. That the rebirth of the Republic is not eagerly awaited admits of no doubt, but the fact is redoubtable, redounding in the speeches of labor leaders and other emonagogues of history ignorant. Such conditions enhance the men of the secret who care for the compost in winter, waiting to ready the fields. To attend the currency in votive weather behooves, viridescent the triangle floats over the altar, offering made. It has snowed. Poverty drifts in massive installments through villages, operas, sex never imagined in the dreams of John Marshall, work undertaken without prospect of gain, unnatural work which the Republic itself turned out to be stupid and savage as an intractable poem. Ain't pleasant to work at the compost, but the niches are empty and the eye will terribly blaze from the triangle when the lion god at last steps forth by day. The belt from Erebus and Terra under the ice, north with a swing to the east under Tierra del Fuego, up along the Andes to the Antilles, under Mexico, under the Rockies to Alaska, hits to the west, Kamchatkas, and down Japan, and the Kurels, one, out to sea, Philippines, branching two, down the coast by Ryukyu Isles, joining up again off Indonesia, cutting west through New Guinea, round Australia, New Zealand, and home again, Erebus and Terra burning hell mouth opens to a starless night. The Cutting of the Lotus for Robert Kelly. Underneath the underground tree, Shamash and Tammuz in the shade, I cut the lotus stem. I place the flower in a bowl of clear water. To name is to count. You will hear a golden bell. Gone from Iowa, the wild turkey, quail, but still the dentist operates, the boy's sex stiffens. A Winnebago holds the tooth in his dripping hand. It is a pearl he gives him. Under the pillow, and it is gone, but remembering is hot. The Manitou's hot breath on the pillow stone at loose. He gives to all who enter once to take the seed of heaven, to enter twice into a place of wind and water. It is named the country 
of ripening stones. To name is to portend, as we are given names. The hen held upside down, with my right hand I push her head down to lay it on the block. The hatchet is keen, sun warm on my bare shoulders, chicken's head in straw and dirt and chicken dirt. To name gives you no what. I will not tell you how to eat the pomegranate. The roots are black and muddy at the bottom of the lily pond where water and mud are not separated. No tenses. The words tumbled from all the mouths of the god at once. He rubs himself with his utterance. He shines. Out of the dunghill a cock scratches the pearl to give to, to the philosopher. The dentist chuckles, gnaws his bone, listens to the pounding of the proud piano. The boy and girl explore the empty rooms above the stable where now the chariots are kept. Up the back stairs, Rubedo, slain by the pleasure beast. That there some death, tongues, rainbow bodies, rainbowing, shot, blood in my mouth, the proper nouns, here. Shamash and Thomas together in the shade. Their fingers touch. The stars are hot in the branches of their tree. The gold in the mud. Legendary darkness in the dayshine. How it works to be sleeping on the floor. <clears throat> How bodies love. Shrewdness of it of being in time, what it takes to know what gnosis is, that our knowledge exceeds our having minds, newspapers of fate, not madness, but logic of the rights of whatever seasons come to be, a scribble, as might a shepherd say, whose sheep are human sheep. Stanzas of Hypasis, one, in the child's game implacable, Imperium on Luna, if not a bug-eyed leap, a giant step at least, to be eaten in breakfast food by children, as, as matter-of-fact as that, a crackle of product in a dish. The boy wipes his mouth, empties himself for school, arm strong, so autumn arches in his blood, lions quiver in the aura, running in blue light, the hunter's moon will eat his mind at night. No time but has its blazing. I saw a beacon that seemed intended and whose intention was unquestioned. The craft is governed by such midnight fires as it coasts the rocky headlands in waters of attic clarity. Quote, on the wind-tormented point, end of earth, quote, and about the shores and islands of the Gulf of Moriban, gigantic circles and alignments recall an energy born of terrible adventures. Three, plays with himself, poor Ludens in the secret attic of discovery, revisiting the pleasure beyond death, energy animated and set free, the moon sucks up, and from the dormer windows over the harrowed trees, he sees her firmly sit with bucking shadows. Four, the man voyages and is not a child, the islands are not numberless or nameless. They stand up in the dawn. Vigilance to catch perception. Note the flash of fish scales in diaphanies of water rush. This is a craft of holding to, to make a poem of clashing rock song even, from rocks that mirror, mirrors break into the sun. Five, virginity is to develop. It is the secret power of the male, though it may be hidden in a female husk has naught to do with coming or going, but with the set to make a soul, not a child's dream whom black tongue was dragged to a covered pit by beat of drum to be eaten by the bitch. Virginity is the mystery not yet understood of the orgasm 
from the 13th cycle, whose hierophant is Ophilates, shining in fire, many mirrored. Six, the long body of the solar system seen from the black watchtower, a polyphase transformer to step down according to each planetary coil, the energy of the father sun, creates those conditions that inform the wanderers in man nine centers glandular to receive nine modes of sophic fire. The heavens declare apophens, apophentai. Seven, these stanzas do not illustrate ataxia. I conjoin, I conjoin mottos opposite, man, child, sun, moon, hypasis, dream, as emblems requiring mind work, nexus, buried wisdom as such hides in the news of the day. Ataxia, this is not, it turns out, all to be hypasis, even dream, a ladder of lights. The, imitate, the imitative boy is discovering man. <coughs> Sex on earth is rhymed angelic motion. Outer space and inner space misnomers when what is meant, no men, no men, is rhymed in megalith and microspore, and mirror is parity non conserved. So go right and left, go aft, go fore, go one and two, and heaven blue in pun conjoined. Attic, attic, discovery, craft, craft, mirror, parity. From this chimera, purity? Something is hidden. There are no other words. Lymphatic power is of the moon and must be. Her nodes define the zodiac. Terella, ever weather, but the solar heart defines the blood. How far out you go, it is within. Ioldeboth, Lord of the stars of this world from whom we derive iniqui iniquity, who make the bow and lyre one, sickness to pleasure health, weariness to pleasure rest, Hunger, pleasure, pleuromatic gusto. The girl in a blue dress, weaving soothly in the cool night air, twines what little can be said against you. The undertaking. Don't ask where, where is wisdom to be sought as ecstatic music sounds and the loving republic lies rotting away. In polarities confounded, the rites broken and swallowed by public drunkards, the bon mot tones sounding everywhere, capital to fairy tale, radio, city, music halls, agriculture on the ownership, the ministers, <coughs> administers, advertising hearts, ease. Just don't ask, I won't tell, I'm feeding my lamb by the still waters. But she dances, the old girl, yet where? in the presence, and she is the moist breath of the godly powers, and love is the keeping of her laws, and she is empty of own marks, unstopped, unproduced, she sings a lotus bloom. More precious am I than precious stones, a treasure that faileth never. This household is disordered, but I am the sweetly order of things, and I am temperance and prudence, as men can have nothing more profit in their life than me. C conventicle, conventicle, the people of the phoenix do not say the phoenix, and we do not name the mystery that weaves a parsley garland for the temples of the lusters. Marshes, mothers, the sweet flag fallen and parades move by. A god is of the nature of the slime. He invincibly uprises until on surface of the water suddenly is water lily and the child eater of the lotus. A man cannot be but enters in some folly. If he is saved, the direction and the saver is the god who blind, as Orphic say, and dumb, is still the chariot we ride in every day. 
or drown. Tabernacles over the seagulls, over the seagulls on the gull white roofs, the music lies like heat to sound and evidence the blessing of a God who inhabits where he favours. Sanctity returns to place, and time picks up the savour of the merely actual. Sexual is almost godly on the beach. The stars are seamen in the hero blue night ancestors who lean through windows of the high school genitals to certify a desperate shibboleth, pudenda. Honour is for thieves to countenance as the polity of fish and salt evaporates and religion universalized, sea salt in old men's eyes who burn horizons endlessly in hope to see the coming of the lysum blonde conquistadors. The splendid and abasements of the ages come to this, the body of a man or woman robed in faith and mercy, seat of gold and ark of testimony. I have seen the wounds where Godhead was expelled. God needs body and burns in unjust anger until the man is faithful and his work be satisfied. Enthymine. One. And as and the bodiless turning in the green, not, not be right, not by autumn, not turned on now, no longer turning earth awakes itself to wingless credences of buried orchards. So, as and as so, circle sings to sleep, and as not bronze stretches to feel a perfect two beyond a bird to string a fall of amber burliness on wires magnifying and humanity be sunk. Sloth stalks now rapid circuits of deceased. To as lemniscate once gracious twelve blackens in the eve of black, risen awful head of staring will, his majesty, his majesty. Two, a spectre wide of will and pride of pestilence, as if the monogene was sick turning in the white of veering abscesses like violent fish as it beckons, the simile, a chronic door. <coughs> the spectre strides, so let it, so let it sing in kitchen, starry spill, retracted sea dissolved, as to and as to woe in way. Three, so and as and reveals a syntax, principal pauper of a hungry hint. Four, hot in visionary clasping against the beckoning fair to fair in mist resolved, Mille de Lune and barbaresque, she takes your tongue into her mouth. Consonte, consontia, mollified, dark rest, for a time unspecified till vibration starts to as and as to end. Without design, design goes on. In the dream retort the wrong, the death was pure, more the gnawing of the mouse, I am, flashed backwards on the screen and disappeared. Pelican shuddered, gray mist covered the terms I have to call them, since ain't no word for dialect of who. A new step, requiring no more menstruum of baser sort, though helpful in other vulgar operations utilizing dog bane, say, low German or high Dutch conniving, my friend Jonas called them once, I think, I phoned to find the words. And for the making of the poem, he said he didn't know. Male seed, possibly, still to be used, however. I couldn't make out the form that gestured as the door swung to, a man with the head of a weasel, possibly, and I shot back into the streaming morning air, volvescent from the fubbery, which wasn't any more than what we cast about us every day. After all, dreck of dailiness, without our knowing it, 
So that's a ritual compressed into a cup. At any rate, progression, another name. The day shown today, a helmet at the bottom of a well. I plunge my hand into the water, cooling, pick it up and put it on. My love and I will ride out glittering this holiday, this new old spring. The Arduad. The sun ship mounts only when the heavenly serpent spits his seed to the earth. The vine springs forth as Eden and Elohim dream. The fixed stars have to shoot up abilities day by day, to go on gliding on golden rails of appetence. This is called the worsening of time. The redeemed redeemer stands in the bow, passes by, knowing the passwords, having wrestled in the mud, and afterwards passing by. One power, divided above and below, multiplying itself, looking for itself, finding itself, dad and mom in one. Vulgarities do not intrude, guitars play in heaven, and saxophones. So the living word only lies in play of love. And we pass the ape, the numbers take themselves into their spaces, all menaces evert themselves. Formula to get by with. I am son of who don't exist, or don't not exist, though I exist. Why I exist to mine what's mine and what's not mine, both. Yet what's not mine, yes, that's mine, partly, since they belong to my female friend, my female side, who made them for herself. I call her wisdom. But I existed thanks to beyond it, Daddy, who don't. And now me go back where I really belong. Neglect not the dawn meditation. The poem comes in its own cock light. Time, <coughs> the sorry flowering birds sing up the rising god. He who comes, Diunusoyo, Zagrius, him at home in the depths of the sea. Aum. One of the company of light. The star man in my heart is young and moves with all the strength memory masters. Shoots as a soldier in the boyhood gang was supposed to. That brilliant and keen. He's the might of the doom of the stalwart, the heart of the men defending Baldoon. He is untarnished. He moves in the untold vigil of the children of others, the warrior behind the dolor of actual war game stupidity. Lucent he is, nothing lacking. He is eminence fixed in the coldest blue eyes. He is white and renews the ancient floraison. Supple and amorous, he desires Christ and Achilles be one. And in the golden fields he sees them, drink from one cup, naked and hot in the heat of the sun. Behind the veil and in the pleasance of the Pythagorean comma, as it were, twelve intervals of fifths, covering a little more than seven octaves. One, the bride stripped bare in happiness, exulting in the sounding of the sun, house warm and lazy afternoon, <coughs> summer redounding in the heights, unhappiness suspended in Annapolis, exemplia gratia, all cities depend from one goddess who delights in seeming various, wears exultant livery she does, lingerie or broderie, exotically to pique the prick of a rather stupid errant spouse. Two, the, this interval discrepancy does not lead its, lend itself to logic, because it must be declared the mystery. Logic equals magic, 
I leave it to you to find out what is really meant. And in the phone of being where I swing, and so will you, only imagined, but not alone, independent, but resplendent in a bank of flowers, gleaming in a sudden gaudy bronze, athletic, aesthetic as absurdity, the final mathematic heaven. Three, of heaven, not as lemma, not as leaven, but as substance we enfold, we embrace for rational, what makes us lovable in deed. There is no equal temperament. Four, a voyage to another, as if forever olive trees were arctic, a dog relaxing in a chair, a highball, Pythagorean because the shells are blue and blown, a blazoned beach of exact life peculiars, particulars. Five, there are mothers who work in secret, seriously, but with a smile. Serenity is this golden afternoon, cats not reflections of a god, asleep. All things come as commas in a cosmic interval and beauty proves itself by being so. In Northern Earth. The graveyard overgrown and memory effaced. Cats of many colors run among the sumac that roots in human stomachs long gone back to long enduring earth. And what is length of days or seasons in astronomy of death? <clears throat> Endurance is calamity if earth speaks true, and the measurement of time is not posterity. How the line must lengthen while the sun endures and the poem report advanced celebrity? Dissolve, coagulate, the chemist says, but the first darkness blinds the human eyes that climb the ladder of the visionary spinal cord to issue in the thousand petal sun.